Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to connect Trello to Power BI in 2024. So if you're managing your projects on Trello, but you want to keep it a step further by visualizing that data uh, using, of course, uh, Power BI. This video is for you. We'll go through the entire uh, process from exporting, for example, your Trello data or basically just connecting them together. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser for me here, I'm using Brave for you, you can use whatever you want. And of course, make sure to go and open both your Trello account or just go to trello.com, open a new tab and make sure to go also to Power BI. So click on here, first link, and this should take you into it. So for Trello as an example, if it's your first time, you'll be taken to this page. So click on login to login at your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, you can click on get Trello for free to create an account, as you can see. And you can use Google, Microsoft, Apple, or Slack account if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. It's a good idea to use the same Microsoft account that you have, of course, uh, on your Power BI. So the same here on Power BI, make sure to click on sign in and sign in into your account. And you should be, after that, a good to go. So for the connection between the two of them, we'll use, or in this video, so we'll use a tool called Zapier. As an example, go open a new tab, go and type zapier.com, hit the enter button. As an example, okay, so I did not type this correctly. So zapier.com, without this, of course, hit the enter button, and this should take you right away into their home screen or main screen. Here, you'll have to do the same. Click on login, as you can see, at the top right corner. So log in into your account. If you have an account, if you don't have an account, click on sign up. You can also here start, you like create an account using Google or with email, so it's up to you. So for me, as an example, I'll click on login. And again, in here, you can use Google, Facebook, or Microsoft account, so you don't have to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. So for me in here, I'll just go and use a Google account to log in into my account because I already have an account, and yeah, I'll use this specific account of mine. And they'll tell me to enter a code as an example. So just do more ways to verify just the normal way okay let's just get it like as an example code in here so i'll just go like and finish this step of verification and i'm coming back to you so once you're done with that as an example they'll tell you by continuing google will share your name email address language preferences uh, as an example the profile picture with zapier so you can see the zapier pro, uh, privacy policy in terms of service if you're interested and of course you can manage your sign in through your google account so click on continue and allow all of that as you can see all the information that you have to enter by your own zapier will do it for you uh, right away so now as we said we would like to connect two things trello with power bi so we'll have first of all to check if there is a connection between the two on this uh, left panel so we can go to this left panel click on apps to check if there's those two apps first of all on zapier we'll look as an example by or for trello first let's just oh sorry so type trello in there as you can see you'll find it right there so just go and click on it and click on that connects and this should open this for you so if you're already connected to your trello account they will not ask you to sign in again as an example uh, but if you're not you'll have to sign in into your account and after that you'll find this so you'd like to give the following application access to your account example so it will be able to do all of that in here and it will not be able of course to, re uh, to read your email address and your password so of course if you want to give it uh, the access just click on allow and you should of course if you want to connect it then once it's connected go back to apps and we'll have to do the same for power bi so go here to search apps and look for power bi so power BI, it seems like maybe it's not here. Let me just go and look again by BI as an example and explore more connections. As an example, let's just look for all the connections that that's in here. And as you can see, it seems like we'll just look in here. So BI and look, look here for Power BI. There is no Power BI or there is a Power BI. So it seems like there is no Power BI. Okay, so I'll just use this control F. So power BI. Okay, so there is no power BI in here. So basically, 
uh, will not be able to use Zapier in this video because we cannot, as an example, use, we cannot find like Power BI in here in Zapier because this tool actually help you a lot during the connections. It's uh, like simplified work for you as an example. So let me just look one more time for Power BI. So there's no Power BI. So as I said, this will simplify your connections very easily. So basically the other option to connect the two uh, like Trello with Power BI is simply doing it basically the average and uh, then in the normal way how to do that you will have to simply export your data from Trello uh, first of all you just have to go to uh, the Trello board data you can go to the Trello board that you want to connect as an example uh, to whatever board you have so as an example maybe this board for me you can just go and access that specific board w w whether it's whatever board you want and then, of course, you would like to export that board or get the data of that board and you'll have to select the JSON from the list of available data types. Of course, how basically to do that? If you go to this option at the top right corner, three dots, click on it, and then you can simply just click on print, export and share, go to exports as JSON. Once you do so, as an example, they will give you this code. This code is very important for you you'll basically have to go and copy that code or download it it's up to you uh, of course you'll be able to download it by simply hitting the control p i guess to uh, so it will be downloaded let me just see yeah as you can see you'll be able to click on download p choose to download it or save it as pdf uh, as pdf of course and it will be downloaded now you'll have to go to your power bi for me i don't have it on this laptop specifically because you'll need the workspace or a work like email to download it so basically once it downloaded you can simply just go so as an example i just found this demo online and what you'll need to do just go to your data of course like space and from there just try to import your data of course normally you wouldn't like have something like this if you have it downloaded you'll find just a file at the top right a left corner normally normally you can click on it and click on import once you click on import just choose the file of the json of course data from your list of available data types as an example once you locate the json file that you downloaded it's up to you now to do whatever you want with your data because you connected the trello with power bi successfully together so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye